Hey guys, welcome back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to convert your Docker Compose file into Kubernetes manifest file with just a one command. So we are going to use Compose tool. That is amazing time saver tool. And even I'm using for production also. So whether you are a developer or a DevOps engineer, you are struggling with creating a Kubernetes manifest file. So this video is for you because I'm going to show you how this tool is saving a lot of time to you. Probably you're using a Docker Compose for running multiple containers in a declarative way. Then, uh, but later on, you have to migrate your application from Docker to Kubernetes. The reason is because Docker is not uh, good for the production. You need an orchestrator to manage your containers. So for the right way is to deploy your application in, into the Kubernetes. Now this tool is amazing. Just go to the official website of the Compose. Now the sound is pretty much is the same like a Compose, but the first letter is a K instead of the C. And I really like this tool and this tool is built by the community itself. Now how to install this tool? Uh, you can go to the official website based on your environment, whether you are a Windows, Mac OS or Linux, whatever you have it you can install it in your laptop. So you just have to copy the command and open the CMD and run this command. And I already have this tool. So probably this takes uh, showing up that it's already installed. So I can simply say compose and this will show me the all options. Now this is pretty much fine. So for testing this application, I'm going to use my, uh, this Docker compose file, which has, uh, db services and the wordpress services now this is a very basic application this is a wordpress uh application i'm using a uh, wordpress to containerize the application then basically uh, i will i'm using a docker compose docker compose is also good for dev environment i mean you can use docker compose to run multiple containers and you can test your application in a real time experience like if you want to change your application then docker compose basically can also uh, do the right uh, real time changes in your application then you can build your images right so to run the multi containers you can use uh, docker compose it is fine but for production it is not good so for example i want to run this uh, docker compose i can simply say docker compose up hyphen d for detach mode so this will create my all containers by just one command single command right but this is not good for production right this is uh, basically running the docker containers if i say docker ps you see this is Two containers is running one is my sql and another one is wordpress so if i want to access this application i can access this application with this uh at port on a local post so i can say local host and this will yeah so my wordpress is accessible right now how i can convert this docker compose into the kubernetes manifest file now the tool that we have installed compose it is going to be used now but before that i can stop my docker containers so i can say docker compose down and it will destroy my all containers so now i'm going to convert my docker compose into the kubernetes manifest file so i will say compose convert hyphen f and i will specify this docker compose file and now I'm going to say I want the all manifest file in specific directory. So here I do not have any specific directory. Let's say Kubernetes or let's say manifest files. So let's say manifest, right? So I can say manifest. So I will say output and sorry, output and manifest. Now, if hit, I hit enter, this will create all my deployment like de uh, manifest file deployment services and persistence volume and everything now you will see here in the left side let me just bring the for example for wordpress uh, deployment so i have everything with just a one command i don't have to write this uh, manifest file right it's saving a lot of time now based on your requirements you can modify it for example if you don't want this annotation you can remove it and also if you want to uh, change the labels based on your requirements you can do that so it is saving time based on that and i mean you can modify it later on based on your requirements right so it is good for that 
and for the services also it is created a uh, very well structured and the selector also is a correct selector so this services will able to interact with the uh, my deployment so this is good we also have a persistence volume and the database services sorry deployment and the database services so we are good for right now however that one changes i would like to do because i want to access this application so by default whenever we are using this compose tool it is basically uh, creating based on whatever we are mentioning in this docker compose right so we do not have any specific like uh, expose something here we can add that and and it will create like that but at this moment we haven't done this thing in my docker compose so what we can do is we can specify as i as i know that this wordpress uh, services this is a main front end application which i am accessing on browser so in this services i will basically specify the node port as i want to access it as a node port otherwise this will by default going on a cluster ip so if you're not mentioning node port you will not able to access your front end okay so i do not need to mention in the db service because db services will be basically interacting internally with my uh, wordpress uh, wordpress services okay so i do not need it for here it is fine with the cluster ip however this is a front end uh, uh, front end uh, services so i need this to expose from the node so i will say type is node port and i can also specify the uh port number so for example there is a specific port number from 3000 uh 3001 to three, uh, something like that so you can specify here okay if you don't specify this thing that is also fine it will choose automatically and you can see in the services also but as of now this is fine now for running all my deployments and services i can simply run one more command to apply these objects so let's say i will go to manifest file and i will say kubectl apply hyphen f and just type dot for applying all my files okay so one thing is uh, I think this is doesn't create it now it will create I actually I haven't saved this thing so now I just simply say kubectl apply hyphen f dot for applying all the changes and I will simply say yes now you see this has been uh, created now for checking that I can simply say kubectl ports and you will see my uh, database and the WordPress services running. I can also see if my uh, services is running and you will see my DB service and my WordPress service is running and my WordPress is running on node port and here is a port number, okay? So how I can access this thing? I can simply access with my node IP. So I'm using a mini cube, so I will use a mini cube IP as a single node and I'm going back to my browser and let's say 8080. Now you see that we are successfully deployed our application in Kubernetes with just a compose tool. This is really saving a lot of time in your production also. So you just have to review your manifest file while creating these files and later on you can change based on your requirements now if this video is useful and helpful for you please do subscribe and hit the bell icon and see you in the next video thank you